Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me and we have our fifth square in our Under the Sea crochet along and this month's sea creature is this eight arm octopus. It's very simple because all you need to do is use one color and it is the Red Heart Super Saver in color Perfect Pink. Of course, you could use any color you have in your stash, um, but I really like this color. And actually, it is available right now in a gift bundle, so you can get several uh, skeins of this and a free Red Heart tote to go along. And I will leave that in the description so you can click that link if you want to stock up on this shade. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, get started on this. You should already have your bubble square done here. I will leave the link to this tutorial as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and make my second octopus for the back side because all of my squares will be double sided. So the blanket is reversible and your size H crochet hook, grab the yarn and let's get started. All right. So we are going to start with our magic ring. We're going to chain two and we're going to make 12 double crochets in the ring. tight. We are going to join to that first double crochet. We're going to chain two and we're going to make two double crochets in each stitch around. So you should have a total of 24 double crochets after round two. Okay, I'm going to join to that first double crochet. I'm just skipping over the chains and I'm going to go ahead and chain two again. Um, now we're just going to go ahead and do exactly what we just did which is two double crochets in each stitch around. And I made those um, separate lines in the written pattern only because it has a separate stitch count and we're only chaining one after this round. So it's a little bit different, but um, so make sure I'm making two there. So I made them two separate lines. Typically, I would write it as rounds two and three. Make two double crochets in each stitch around. But when you look at the written pattern, they are separate. I feel like I'm crocheting kind of fast for you guys here. But um, this will give us more time at the end of the video to show you some other little more complicated tips and tricks for this for this uh, guy or gal. All right, so at the end of this, we should have 48 double crochets. And of course, I didn't count. I'm not really counting my stitches because I'm sitting here talking on the video. <laughs> Almost done here. Okay. 
Two more to go. Two double crochets in each of these. And then we'll be done with our third round. I'm gonna join to that first double crochet. I'm gonna chain one. We are gonna single, this is round four, we're gonna single crochet in the first 16 stitches and then we're gonna double crochet in the remaining. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now let's double crochet in those remaining stitches. We should have 32. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 32. Okay, so we are right on schedule. We do not need to fasten this yarn off. We are going to go ahead and join. We're going to pause for a moment. Just going to show you what this looks like. So I uh, kind of created the bigger stitches. That's going to be the top of your um, octopus head. And then these smaller single crochet stitches along the bottom. That's where we're gonna add in the eight arms and we're just gonna go ahead and crochet these right on so you don't even have to attach them later. All right, so to make our first arm, we're gonna go ahead and chain 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so it should look like that. So we have our chain and we are going to single crochet in the first two. So it'll be like in your second chain from hook there, make a single crochet, single crochet in that next chain, half double crochet in the next four, one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna go ahead and double crochet in the remaining chains. And keep in mind, you can make these as long or short as you want. I keep in mind they should probably not be too long so they don't, I can't get this in here, so they can't fit on your square. But if you want them to curl up a little bit more, maybe you want them longer. If these seem too long, then you could make less chains and they will be shorter. Okay, we're almost at the end of our chain here. Okay, so here we are. Here's the head. Here's our first little arm. And then we are going to skip a stitch and join with a slip stitch to the next. I'm just gonna skip, well, let's see. Skip that and join. Okay, we have first arm. Now let's go ahead and chain 20. Only because this was a chain 16, I think the chain 20 gives it a little bit more length and we'll kind of continue that throughout. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I didn't count. Let's start over. Chain 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, same kind of sequence as we did before. You really don't need to um, count your stitches. We're just going to be 
uh, making those single crochets in those first two, half double crochet in the next four. and double crochets in the remaining chains, which will, you will, um, which will bring us to the end of our second arm. Really, this is gonna get pretty repetitive here. Okay, so we're gonna skip a stitch. We're gonna join with a slip stitch to the next. Ooh. And we have our, it's upside down in this video, uh, but we have our second arm made. So let's go on to the third one. We're gonna chain 24 just to make it a little bit longer. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Same idea. Half, half, single crochet in the first two. Half double crochet in the next four. And double crochet in those remaining chains. Okay, skip a stitch, join to the next with a slip stitch. We have three made. The next two arms are gonna be our longest ones. We're gonna chain 28. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28. Same thing, single crochet single crochet, half double crochet, four times, two, three, four, and continue on with your double crochets. I actually love this one because it's so um, kind of basic, you can actually uh, use your creativity to add on a lot of little extra elements to this um, to this pattern to our octopi. I'll tell you more about that once we once we get through the basics here. But I love that you don't actually have to attach these to the body. When we're done, we're going to have the eight arms. And we are going to be in good shape to just start stitching this down or adding on other embellishments. Okay, we're getting there. And actually, now that we are halfway through making the octopus arms, skip a stitch, slip stitch to join. Just going to turn this right side up here. Okay, so we have four. There's our head. Let them curl. That's completely fine. We kind of want them to do that on the ends. And now we have four more to go. So we're actually going to do um, the same idea, but it's going to go from large to small now. So 20, chain 28, uh, chain 24, 20, and then 16. Let's just go ahead and work through that. Another chain 28. And 
one, same thing. Single crochets, double crochets. And I'm going to try and kind of get through this part as quick as possible since uh, we've already done four of them. You guys are getting the idea here. So you can go ahead and fast forward to the end of our octopus arms if you like. Chase. This is going to be our last one. Chain 16. Okay, skipping that, kind of joining right back to that first double crochet there that I made. And do do do, you will have all eight of your octopus legs and the head. And then we're going to go ahead and fasten off. You're going to want to leave a really long tail because we're going to use it to stitch all these on. And you know what? If it's not long enough, 
that's okay. You can just uh, clip off another uh, strand to keep stitching on. So this might actually be even too long. Let's just send this through and then we will get started on the face. All right, so we have our basic shape here. You're gonna to wanna to get a strand of um, black yarn and your tapestry needle. And I'm making this face pretty simple. You can use my cartoon eyes um, or anything else, maybe one of the uh, eye tutorials from some of the other squares and sea creatures I've already done. Uh, but I thought we would go back and make this one kind of simple like our starfish. Up to you. I've given you lots of ideas. So I love when you guys kind of take them all and combine them and keep it going. All right. So I'm just coming up from the backside. You're actually going to want to uh, secure that, uh, weave in that magic ring. But we'll leave that for now. Um, so I don't know, I'm kind of working on either side of that middle round, uh, just coming up wherever you'd like, come back down and really all I'm doing for this eye, just like I did for the starfish is loop it around, um, about five times, maybe more, maybe less, depending on kind of how thick your yarn is. And I think it makes kind of a nice little, kind of like a circle. So that's three times. See, it's already looking great just at three, but we can keep going. Four. Actually, I think four is about good. I'm going to leave it at that. Your yarn may be a little thinner. I mean, this is Red Heart Super Saver in black. Um, just depends. I might be stitching this a little bit loose too. So now I'm just gonna, I'm still working from the back side. I'm leaving it attached. You're not gonna see this. We're gonna stitch this down. And I'm gonna try and just work in that same kind of spot on the other side. I hope I'm at about the same spot. It looks about right. Let's hope. And just do the same thing. Come on. And maybe one more. I think that's four. Four or five. Maybe more, maybe less. You'll see. Okay, the eyes are cute. Now let's make our little smile. So I'm just kind of working right down here, right below. Um, again, I'm going in from the back, right below our um, magic ring. Let's see what I did on the other one. Yeah, kind of went in here. There we go. And then honestly, I'm just bringing this over to the other side, right about in that same even spot and then right before we fully pull that I'm going in through the bottom let's go down here kind of hooking this pull it a little bit and then come back down over it in that same spot and we have our smile Kind of tighten that a little more if you want. Not too tight though, because you want it to kind of stay in that smile. So cute. I'm going to, I'm honestly just gonna fasten this off and I am going to tie this. You could weave in your ends. Oop. I'm just gonna, you're probably gonna wanna tie that a little tighter, but for the sake of time in our video, I'm also should be weaving that in too. I'm gonna deal with that later. Okay, now we're gonna stitch this down. So I'm gonna just work on the back side of my um, bubble square here. And the way I'm placing this one, so we have all of the arms uh, sp spread out, is 
putting the head kind of in this top right corner, or you could go this way. Maybe you want it opposite for the back side. I don't know, maybe that's what we should do. I don't know, I can't decide. Well, I'll do it like I did the first one. Okay, and then what I would do is kind of lay them out a little bit how you want. I like when they're when the ends of these arms are a little twisty turvy. Oh, and I wanted to mention, um, if you want to make little tentacles on these, you could use like a French knot, maybe some white yarn, maybe even the black yarn, maybe a, a darker pink, and you could make little little French knots or little crochet, tiny crochet squares if you can get them small enough, and you could just attach them to the front or the back side. I don't think it's needed. I, I it would look great, but um, I'm just trying to simplify these as much as possible. You know how I like to bring you guys easy crochet, so I didn't want to get too technical, but this is where I was talking about just just get creative, you know? Do whatever you whatever feels right. Okay. So, now we are just going to use our tapestry needle and start stitching these down. Um again, I kind of like when they're Little, and this could go this way too. I mean, they could even go like this. So you're just gonna start, I'm gonna start over here. I think you guys can figure out how to stitch along the top. So let's just start stitching down these arms because I think this is the, this is gonna be the most um, kind of tedious and just, you're just gonna have to be a little bit careful. So now I'm stitching these down. I'm working kind of between the stitches here, just so it doesn't show on the other side. Up to you. Um, if you're, if both of your octopus, crochet octopi are completely even back to back, you can actually probably work through a little bit more. I don't know, I think it'd be cute. I'm gonna just kind of hold this here. I think it'd be cute if he was kind of waving high with his, <laughs> with these little end arms. And I'm just, so I'm just going in there, just coming up. Your strand's gonna be pretty long to start and then it gets a little bit easier. So I may only do one or two of these. I know this video is getting kind of long and it's probably gonna take a while to uh, stitch all these down. But honestly, so see if I just want this to kind of curl up, I'm just gonna hold it like this and just work right into that crochet arm while it's curled. Okay, so now it's kind of curled up. Just just work your way into that. It will lay down however you stitch it down. Okay, and then I'm kind of working. Honestly, it's okay that if the little edge is up a little bit, it's kind of cute. Gives it a little 3D look. And so see, it's kind of flapped over. Just work along the edge, wherever your edge is. Even if it's folded, that's where you're just going to stick your tapestry needle into. Okay, that's looking cute. Okay, look, our first one's down. It's actually really cute. 
So I don't know, maybe you want your next one to go like this. However you want it, maybe we'll curl this this way. And I recommend too, when you're working where you kind of have these gaps where your um, corners are in your bubble square, try and kind of lay those arms between there just so it's easier to stitch on so you have a spot. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna work along, along the sides. So you're gonna go down one side, up back the other, and so on all the way through. I think you guys kind of get the hang of this. I'm just gonna keep going for a minute more. Like I said, this is the kind of the tedious part of it, so. You know, I want this to look as best as possible. And it's just gonna be too long to do, to stitch this fully down on camera. And pretty boring too. So again, I have it folded over. And I'm just working along that folded, folded edge. Kind of see through, but just the, ah. I'll turn this around in a second. Okay. Just kind of want to get that, this little part stitched down. Come back up just to the top of it. Yeah. My strand is very long right now. Okay. And then kind of back down this side. All right, so now I have that pretty secure. And then I'm just gonna work back up this side and then we'll get started on this one. And look how cute that is. We'll probably stitch it down just like that. The little ends curl on their own. All right, I think, um, I mean, we're over 30 minutes now on this video. I think you guys have the hang of it. I'm so excited that you are excited about these um, sea creatures. So I'm just flipping it over. You can't even see any stitches coming through the other side. Flip back over, buddy. All right, all of the written patterns are on repeatcrafterme.com. I will also leave a link to the landing page for our Under the Sea Crochet Along, which includes links to all of the squares we have done so far. Let me grab them. Our last one was the crab. We have our jellyfish. We have our seahorse. These eyes would be cute on the octopus as well. And here's our cute starfish. And there's our star. So they're double-sided. That's how I'm doing it. You don't have to make yours double-sided if you don't want. Please use these patterns and be creative and make yours unique. Again, everything will be linked below in the description. Uh, thank you for following along. Can't wait till next month. Patterns on repeatcrafterme.com.